Hey, what's up guys? My name's Mailbox and I have another Black Ops 3 Zombies video for you today. This time though, I want to talk a little bit about how we're going to be moving around uh, the brand new Shadows of Evil map. Uh, we already know that the map is going to be huge. There's even been rumors about it being bigger than Transit, which is just crazy. Uh, Transit was huge, but I wouldn't doubt it. And if that's the case, we definitely need more ways to move around uh, besides walking. And there's one thing that a lot of people seem to have missed. Uh, I know a couple of people have touched on it, but for the most part, people don't realize that we will be seeing a suspension railway in Shadows of Evil. Uh, we know this because if you go to the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 website and uh, click on zombies, we get a few descriptions about the map itself. And one of them reads, Morgue City is the ideal backdrop for a noir horror story, featuring a theater district, jazz clubs, and a suspension railway, elements that add new depth and complexity as you fend off the undead. So a suspension railway, it's pretty self-explanatory but we can look it up online and it tells us that it's a form of elevated monorail where the vehicle is suspended from a fixed track which is built above street level uh, or a river or a canal or an existing railway track. Uh, so this is likely how we're going to be traveling around Shadows of Evil. Like it says, we're going to be traveling through different districts. Uh, this map is going to be enormous, man. At least that's what it seems like. And I tried looking throughout the trailer for a small glimpse at the rail system. And I did come across a very quick shot at something that looks like it could be the suspended train. Uh, it's really hard to tell though. You guys are totally welcome to go try and find a better shot of it. But yeah, I just wanted to make sure that you guys know that essentially we have a Shadows of Evil travel system confirmed on the official Call of Duty website. Uh, another thing that might be worth pointing out, I don't want to scare you guys or piss anybody off, uh, but we do see a bus in the trailer. No, it's not the transit bus, uh, however it does sort of look like it's seen in different areas of the map. Uh, it's a little difficult to tell in this very abrupt and fast paced trailer, uh, but we do see it there at first and then we see it there as our characters are running away, so if this bus moves around the map, it could mean that this is another travel option. Uh, personally, I don't think Treyarch would mess with a bus after transit. I mean, they might be kind of teasing us or something, but I really think that they understood the negative reaction that they got with transit, and I doubt that they're going to be taking too many things from that map to incorporate into Black Ops 3. Uh, maybe the bus is just how our characters are transported into the city. Uh, maybe it's just how we enter the map, or maybe it doesn't move at all and it's just sitting in the streets with the rest of the cars, and I'm crazy, but let me know what you guys think both about the new suspension railway and about this bus that we get a quick glimpse of. Uh, are you guys excited for the train? Do you think it's going to be a big step up from the transit bus? Uh, I wonder if there's going to be like a conductor or something like Ted. Uh, I guess that's something that we're going to have to wait and see. Uh, but thank you guys so so much for watching. Stay tuned for a lot more Black Ops 3 Zombies videos. I have a ton of stuff to talk about still. And as always, I invite you to smack that like button if you enjoyed the video and if you're hyped for the new zombies. Uh, it helps spread the info and it helps support my channel so it's much appreciated uh, but yeah thanks again for watching guys i'll see you next time it has been ellen oh you're not subscribed perfect i'm looking for more test subjects